Okay, I wanted to do a video response for the Facebook versus Twitter thing. Facebook and Twitter have got to be one of the absolute dumbest social networking sites when it comes to immature people. Immature me meaning idiots who will say stupid shit and people who will say the dumbest things. Yes, same context, same freaking thing. Uh, yeah, I mean... But on the other way, but on the other hand, it's very depressing that the way both sites have become. It's getting to the point where a lot of people want to have a lot of followers on Twitter and Facebook. Celebrities and models want to have their, you know, their following, their fan base, and all that other stuff on Twitter and Facebook. The thing that's really discouraging about writing stuff to famous people, models and celebrities, yada yada yada, is the fact that when you write something to one of them, they never answer you. Now, from my own personal experience, I have never had one person answer back to me. It's not because I've been a schmuck. I've never been a schmuck. I've never been an idiot. I never caused them to not want to answer me. But it's the fact that when you get someone, a well-known person who wants a fan base, who wants you to write stuff to them, they never write back to you because they always use a cop out of, oh, I, I never saw it, write it again. If they really cared that much about their fan base, they would write back to them. There's one person, one person of a fan, that has a fan base following who actually writes back on a regular basis and that's something that I do appreciate because I know that I, they actually give a shit about you. Um, I've actually written to you a couple of times but you have never answered me so I don't know what the deal is with that on your end. Um, I've, written, I've written to a few others and it's like why the hell bother being here if you're only going to answer a selected few. Selected few meaning I'm only going to answer people who 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 um, I'm trying to look for the right word um ah oh shit uh, um they, 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 they build your they try to build your ego up by telling you all positive stuff that you want them to want to see from you Oh, you're so beautiful. Accepted. Oh, you're so beautiful. Accepted. You have a great body. Etc. You know, accepted. They answer that stuff. But when you but when you send them a message about something legit, like how are things, or what's your favorite movie, yada yada yada, that will go unanswered up until you write the seventh time and they say, oh well, well, they never, I never saw it. That's what's discouraging. Me personally, I have a Twitter account, which I only have like six people on because I can, I mean, I can understand, yes, right now I'm going through a lot of things in life. I don't go on Twitter as much as I want to. Right now, I go on Facebook more than Twitter because Twitter is a bunch of shit that people write that you don't really want to go, want to read. Facebook is sort of similar, but in certain areas, it's less of shit that you see. Like on Facebook, you go on certain pages, you go on certain um, fan-based pages where you write something like, Hi, how are things? You don't get it answered. I mean, it's, it's, it really gets discouraging. There are some areas on Facebook where it's legit. You know, you get a bunch of family members who, you know, they answer each other and, you know, you carry on with your, you know, your normal everyday activities. But there is shit on there. It's like, it really makes you want to hire someone to take the whole entire site down because the site makes the internet pointless. I mean, literally. 
Oh, uh, I, I passed the Starbucks. Should I go and get a cup of coffee? That's the biggest waste of bandwidth. The person may be sociable. The person may be nice under certain circumstances, but the shit that they write is like, why do I care whether you want to go into a Starbucks and buy a cup of coffee? You want to go and buy one? Fine, buy one. But it's a waste of bandwidth. It's like there's a DJ I know of, DJ David Morales. I follow him on Twitter. I have been listening to him since I was 14 years old. When I found out that he had a Facebook and Twitter, I followed him. He does all good stuff. And there are some people who will be like, why the hell am I subscribed to you? Now, on the other hand, there are some days where I do go on Twitter, and there are some things on there that really make me laugh, because you wonder about the mentality of some people. Like, for example, there's one model who goes by the name of Maya Jane. She blocked me on Twitter, specifically because... I asked her, why did you block me on Facebook after you already told me to send you an email again? Her response, her first response was, oh, it wasn't me. I said, well, if it isn't you, why is your picture on there? She blocked me within six hours. I mean, if you want to be on a social networking site, grow the hell up. I mean, that's the reality of it. But I, I, me personally, if I had a choice between them both, I'd rather pick Facebook because it's more open in a positive way in some areas. Twitter is going to shit. Twitter is nothing but a, oh, look at me. Here's a follow-up picture. Here's a twit pic. Oh, look at me and my friend. I heart this and I heart that. Okay. <laughs> Facebook, you would rather see, you would much more likely meet seeing me on Facebook because it gives you more of an area, more of an opportunity to connect to people, depending on where you're going. There are some people, yeah, that I'm connected to on Facebook that are pretty much are encouraging me to disconnect from them because they care more about their egos and advertising what they're doing on TV than they care about giving a shit about their fan base. In other, and like, like I said before, for them it's more about answering messages that complement their image rather than answering and ignoring the, an, the, the messages that, that ask about regular normal stuff. So. Oh, and by the way, Mark Zuckerberg, Zucker, Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook, is going through another $8 billion, uh, no, not $8 billion, another $15 million lawsuit because he's now starting to sell and violate people's personal information and selling it. I thought I'd let you know. <laughs>